Hello everyone, my name is Alex, amateur radio callsign Romeo 2 Alpha United Kilo. In uh, this video I would like to tell you about this new device Ernst VNA PR1. Ernst stands for Amateur Radio Instruments and this is a vector network analyzer for frequency range from 1 MHz up to 6.2 GHz. Uh, let's uh, turn this thing on. It's done with this button from the side. Now it's booting. And I would like to show you several experiments with it. Uh, the first one is the following. What I got here is um, a little antenna for frequency 2.4 uh, GHz. It's a dipole made of uh, SMA connector and uh, two uh, copper wires. Uh, the coax here is uh, LMR200 and I'm using a little ferret choke here. Uh, let's pause this thing for a moment. Um, what I'm doing now is uh, fixing the antenna in a vise just because it's a little a uh, bit con more convenient. Now I'm connecting the antenna to the Erinst and what I'm going to do next is switch to let's let's check the SWR and uh, change our frequency our center frequency to 2.4 kilohertz and use a span let's say 400 megahertz because why not and uh, let's see what it tells us okay uh, let's use a marker uh, switch to showing us SWR and we see that SWR is um, not that bad it's point ox point it's uh, 1.6 about that let's uh, measure the input impedance uh, on the frequency let's say 245 gigahertz uh, not SWR but Z Okay, uh, we are close to the resonance and we see the resonance about uh, 70 ohms, 71 ohms, uh, exactly as uh, predicted by the theory. Uh, of course, I am measuring the antenna through the coax and uh, it's affected uh, by uh, several metal objects I have uh, here in the room, but uh, it's, um, it's quite close uh, to what the uh, theory tells us. Uh, now let's pause this thing. Uh, and this was the first experiment. The second experiment I would like to show you is... Uh, I would like to know the frequency response of this uh, filter. It's a CW homemade uh, crystal filter for uh, intermediate frequency 12 MHz. And uh, to measure it, let's disconnect these cables and connect them to the device and to calibrate this thing I'm going to use this little SMA connector Okay, like this, and let's change our center frequency to 12 megahertz. Our span to oops, it's scanning. Okay, uh, and we see about 50 ohms, which is a good sign. Uh, nevertheless, uh, change our span to 10 kilohertz. And bandwidth is okay. The number of points is okay and switch to the screen uh, logarithmic amplitude and next thing we have to do is calibration uh, let's uh, uh, make a through calibration uh, which will compensate uh, for any losses any uh, 
the phase delays in uh, this coax. Let's run through calibration. And uh, pause the scan for a moment. And connect our GUT. Now it's in place and resume the scan. And uh, what we see now is a frequency response of uh, the filter. Uh, the reason why I choose uh, this particular experiment is because this filter is a very narrow band. Its uh, pass band is uh, only about uh, 500 uh, gertz. And uh, not many devices will show you such a narrow uh, frequency response. Let's turn... Uh, Let's turn the marker and uh, find our maximum. Uh, no, no, we have we're interested in magnitude, and it's about 4.7 dB, uh, which is uh, the insertion loss of this filter, and uh, it's the right value. I checked it uh, with my Rigel DSA. Uh, 815 uh, spectrum analyzer. Uh, the reason why we have such um, uh, large insertion loss is uh, first because uh, it's a homemade filter and um, uh, the Q of these uh, filters is uh, not that great and um, also it's a very narrow band uh, so it's quite common to have uh, large insertion loss in this case. Um, I guess it's uh, all I would like to show you today. If uh, you have some experiments in mind I could uh, show you, please uh, leave your comments. Uh, if uh, you would like to see the teardown uh, video of this device, please leave your comments. Um, the reason why I am telling you about this device is because um, it's it's really it's quite well and. Um, I don't think uh, many foreign uh, amateur radio operators uh, know about uh, Aaron's devices. Um, I have to tell you, it's uh, not uh, very cheap. It's about, if I remember correctly, uh, 550 US dollars. But uh, for the price, uh, it's a very good device uh, if uh, you are interested in frequencies um, about uh, 1 gigahertz and you can afford it, um, go for it. I think it's uh, all for today. Thank you for watching and I see you next time. Thank you.